Hello everyone. I hope this message finds you fit and fine. Welcome to Lakshmi Kant series Indian Polity Contest. Today we are going to talk about Prime Minister. Let's break this term and focus on word minister. If you remember, in historical background of Indian Constitution chapter, I use this word portfolio. So portfolio system was introduced by Britishers in executive branch. It simply means one person will be responsible for a specific departments. And now take a look over minister. If you're a member of parliament, say Lok Sabha, and you have some question with respect to health department, then you can directly ask this question from health minister. Directly means obviously you have to submit that question in the Lok Sabha. But the point is, you know, who is the point of contact? Don't you think? It is a feature of responsible government. Now, minister concern has to answer about the activities, failures, achievements of respective departments. Now, to guide these ministers, to actually regulate these ministers and departments, to guide them for a particular vision, we made this one position prime minister. The word prime was added, right? So, this is the list of prime ministers. Now, primus inter paris, this word is used most commonly for this position of prime minister, but it means first among equals, not chief of the minister's concern. What is the difference? First among equals means all ministers are equals and prime minister is just first among them. Do you think it is true in case of India's political system, in case of India's parliament system? No. Because in our system, we use the word prime minister, but in our system, prime minister is supreme, means above council of minister, right? Real power is in the hand of prime minister. What kind of real powers we are talking about? I'm going to discuss. Lord Molde agrees on this word. Yes, primus inter paris should be the word. Now, some of you would question, sir, why there is a debate in between this? Whether you adopt first model or second model, what change we are going to have? Yes, there is a change. If I ask, which system do you think is more democratic in nature? When I say democratic, it means members of council of ministers, they will be having fair amount of, you can say, independence to share their views, their visions. What do you think in which system it will be available more? I think you would agree it is in first system. In case of second system, what our prime minister is thinking, that is going to be the vision that needs to be done. Means level of council of minister is actually less other ministers is less, right? So that is why some scholars of West says that it is against or not reflecting truly the spirit of democratic system. Because a spirit of democratic system is not just in how elections are being conducted, whether people are given right to vote, no. A spirit of democracy should be reflected at all levels. So that is one idea. I'm sharing these views because UPSC is making such statements in prelims as well nowadays, right? Introduction, president is the nominal head, de jure, we use this word de jure, but the real head is prime minister, de facto, real power is in the hand of prime minister. So prime minister is the head of the government, okay, and president is the head of the state. Indian state. Now let's talk about appointment. So prime minister is appointed by president. Please remember, for the post of PM, in India we have no election. There's no election for the post of prime minister. Some of you would say, those who are just those who have just entered into this domain of polity, sir, we voted for Modi. In previous election, we voted for this person. You voted for 
your local MP, Lok Sabha MP. Okay, you have not voted for directly for the position of Prime Minister. Okay, it was eventual. Okay, that if more than 50% members of Lok Sabha belonging to this particular party, say BJP, and BJP has projected, yes, for us, Prime Minister position is going to be given to Honorable, say, uh, Modi ji, right? So it is eventual, but there is no election. Now some of you would say, sir, it means indirect election must be there. No, I am saying no election. Whether direct or indirect, Prime Minister is appointed. Appointed by whom? President. Now whether President can appoint anyone as uh, Prime Minister of India? No. There is some guideline for this because our constitution says, Prime Minister shall be appointed by the President but does not imply that President is free to appoint anyone as Prime Minister. There is a guideline. What is the guideline? That President has to appoint leader of the majority party in the Lok Sabha as the Prime Minister. Now, does it mean that member should necessarily be the member of Lok Sabha? Means whomsoever is being appointed as Prime Minister by Honorable President should be necessarily member of Lok Sabha. Now tell me, the statement is true or false? So those students who are reading the statements and thinking, sir, it must be true. My answer to you is, the statement is false. Why it is false? I have used the word leader of majority party in Lok Sabha. Nowhere I have mentioned member of Lok Sabha. Right? For example, BJP got more than 50% seats in Lok Sabha. So it means in Lok Sabha, majority party becomes BJP. And now BJP says, this Shashank Tyagi working in Delhi and teaching UPSC aspirants, civil service aspirants, Indian polity, and we want him to be Prime Minister of India. Now tell me, uh, is there any uh, apprehensions in this from the legal standpoint? No apprehensions. Because majority party in Lok Sabha has chosen me as a leader. So now I am going to receive a letter from Rashtrapati Bhavan that you have to come and you have to take oath for this position of Prime Minister. Okay? So I am not a member of even Lok Sabha or Ras Sabha. But within six months, I have to become member of either Lok Sabha or Ras Sabha. Otherwise, I will be removed from my position constitutionally. Right? So it means majority of the members should choose that person as the leader. Clear? I think this is clear to you now. Now, when no party has clear majority, what is going to happen then? In the Lok Sabha, then president may exercise personal discretion. What does it mean? Consider, no party has got more than 50% seats. And there is no coalition, group of parties who could prove that more than 50% seats are with them. Parties are still in discretion, discussion. Now, president may exercise discretion and appoint one person as prime minister. And then prime president is going to give that person a reasonable amount of time. That, okay, within this time, you have to prove majority support in Lok Sabha. Then in Lok Sabha, majority of the members support you as their leader. If you could do that, then you are going to continue for the post of Prime Minister. Otherwise, you will be removed and next person will be given chance. So here, President is acting on his discretion, on his own, free will. Clear? Now, situations where President has acted on discretion. For example, when Neelam Sanjeeva Reti, the then President, appointed Charan Singh, because consensus were, was not getting built. So Char Mr. Charan Singh was given opportunity to become Prime Minister, although that his Prime Ministership was short-lived, but this discretion was used. Again, when Indira Gandhiji was assassinated, after that, Gyani Jal Singh, then President of India, gave opportunity to Rajiv Gandhiji to take oath of Prime Minister and then later prove that, yeah, he is having majority support in Lok Sabha. 
नाउ इन 1980 एटी डेली हाईकोर्ट से इज दैट जो मैंने अभी आपको एक्सप्लेन किया वॉट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डज नॉट रिक्वायर दैट अ पर्सन मस्ट प्रूव हिज मेजोरिटी इन लोकसभा बिफोर ही इज अपॉइंटेड एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट इज वाई इन माई एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज फर्स्ट अपॉइंटेड एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड लेटर गिव एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रूव मेजोरिटी सपोर्ट मीन्स सेकेंड केस इन माई सपोर्ट इन माई केस इन माई एग्जाम्पल वॉज लोकसभा मेजोरिटी मेंबर्स वर सेंग दैट वी वॉन्ट शशांक त्यागी राइट एंड सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल वॉज दैट येस यू कैन बी गिवन दिस पोजिशन एंड देन गिवन रिजनेबल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम कि हाँ प्रूव मेजोरिटी 1997 सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्लियरली सेट दैट फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स दिस कैन वर्क एज आई टोल्ड इन माई एग्जाम्पल राइट बट विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स यू हैव टू बिकम मेंबर ऑफ इधर हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट मीन्स यू गॉट द मेजोरिटी सो मेजोरिटी यू हैव टू प्रूव इन रीजनेबल टाइम द टाइम विच इज गिवन टू यू बाय ऑनरेबल प्रेजिडेंट एंड प्रेजिडेंट हैज डिस्क्रिप्शन इन दिस रिगार्ड हाउ मच टाइम प्रेजिडेंट इज गोइंग टू गिव टू यू right so majority is taken majority is done but you have you consider that i am not a member of lok sabha rajya sabha so within 6 months i have to be member of lok sabha or rajya sabha okay now some of you might be questioning sir you can become member of rajya sabha and still you will be treated as majority leader of lok sabha yes majority parties leader i am going to be considered but i am not going to be member of lok sabha okay i am going to be member of rajya sabha okay then some of you might be questioning sir then why we are not calling that you are the majority party leader of rajya sabha my friends because whomsoever is going to form the government at union should be the person or the party getting majority support in lok sabha because lok sabha elections decide who is going to be the uh, who is going to form the government and that is why majority support of lok sabha is used not rajya sabha so in past we had prime ministers who were part of rajya sabha but they were prime ministers means representing the majority support of lok sabha for example manmohan singh ji indira gandhi ji also at one point of time in 1997 supreme court held that person who is not member either of house of parliament can be appointed as prime minister for 6 months within which he should be a member of either house i have explained to you three prime ministers indira gandhi ji dev gowda and manmohan singh they were members of rajya sabha okay but now how our parliamentary system our model with regard to prime minister is different from britain's in britain prime minister need to be member of lower house but in in our case you can become member of lower or upper house both will work house of commons because there the upper house is house of lords right now oath so who gives the oath oath is administered by honorable president right tenor there's no fixed tenor for the position of prime minister if someone if one statement by upsc says prime minister's office prime the position of prime minister has tenor of 5 years that is wrong although some of you might say sir uh, before this election in 2019 Uh, modi ji was prime minister for 5 years yes he was but tenor nahi tha there was no fixed tenor even before that if majority members of uh, lok sabha say bjp they wrote a letter to honorable president sir we don't want um, modi ji as prime minister and we want to choose amit shah as prime minister right so it means they are shifting the confidence right so this can happen prime minister uh, then need to resign right so no fixed standard is there okay holds office during the pleasure of president means president has appointed and president can ask you to dis dismiss from you know resign from your office if you are not having you can say majority support in lok sabha right cannot be dismissed as long as he enjoys majority support in lok sabha right till the point you have majority support you cannot be dismissed okay in my example as as i told you majority members of lok sabha they have said no we want to shift the confidence into another leader then president also has some tools in his end if his dismissal has not been done yet so he has power to dissolve even lok sabha means he has power to convey advice to honorable president sir please dissolve lok sabha and there can be you know uh, a legal debate on this very point 
So in this case, president will see, oh, I first received a letter that now you're not enjoying majority support of Lok Sabha. And that is the reason you are recommending me to dissolve the Lok Sabha and has fresh, have fresh election. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you, since you're advising me, prove your majority. I have received the letter. So it means you have to resign. And when Prime Minister resigned, along with him or her, the whole Council of Ministers also resigns. And his new leader is going to become Prime Minister. There is no need of fresh election. Because Prime President is not going to accept it because President has also received, uh, already received a letter that this person is not having majority support. So your advice is not going to accept it. So new member, new person is going to be appointed as Prime Minister and on his advice, new Council of Ministers is also going to take oath. Okay? So if Prime Minister resigns, Prime Minister dies, then whole Council of Ministers is disbanded. Clear? He loses the support in Lok Sabha, he must resign or can be dismissed by Honorable President. That is why we say on the pleasure of President. Now power and functions. Number one. Prime Minister is the one who recommends to the President that, sir, this is a list and on the basis of this list, please give letter to these people and invite them for the oath-taking ceremony as ministers. So it means who is going to be minister is actually decided by Honorable Prime Minister. Conveyed to PM decides, conveyed to President and this President actually appoint them. So appointment is done by President. Clear? Now tell me whether this recommendation that this, these ministers should be this these person should be appointed as minister, uh, whether this recommendation is binding on president or not? Answer is it is binding. It is binding. So which is the importance of prime minister? Because it is his council of minister, her council of minister. Then they are going to decide who is going to be the minister, right? And why this? Advice was made binding. The reason was that these people are elected by people. These representatives are elected by people. So they have confidence in the people and that is the call of democracy. And these people are going to be responsible to the parliament. They should be given free will. Who they want to appoint as minister. Right? Then only you can actually ask them questions because you have given them freedom. That yeah, you can appoint... You can advise who you want as minister, your minister, right? Allocates and shuffles portfolio, who is going to be health minister, who is going to finance minister, who is going to defense minister. This is done by the prime minister. Prime minister recommends and then it is, the letter is issued by honorable president on this advice. Can ask a minister to resign or if minister is not resigning even after asking by the prime minister, then uh, president is also having power that PM is going to tell the president that please dismiss this person as minister. What you got? Prime minister does not have power to directly dismiss a minister because the appointment was done by president. He asked, obviously, when prime minister is asking someone to resign, then council of minister member have to resign. These ministers have to resign because they know. Otherwise, they will receive letter from honorable president. Right? Preside over the Council of Minister. Preside means means to have the meeting, to hold the meeting, the chief person. Guide, direct, control, coordinate the activities of all minister. That is what I have told you in the start. If he resigns or dies, what happens? Entire Council of Minister collapses. Clear? So please remember this in relation to Council of Minister. So power in relation to Council of Minister. Now, last key. He made a statement of on Prime Minister. He said, is central to its is central to the formation, central to the life, central to its death. What Lasky is talking about? He's talking about Council of Ministers. Means Prime Minister is central to the formation of Council of Ministers, central to the life, central to the death. When President res Prime Minister resigns, then uh, Council of Ministers also collapses. He described him as a pivot, jiske around. Pivot means center. And the whole thing actually circulates around this center, around which the entire governmental machinery revolves. The real power center. In relation to the parliament, first, leader of the Lok Sabha, right? Second, parliament has to convene the session. That's how parliament works. But who is going to call this session? 
president has this power but president acts on the advice of prime minister council of minister so it means advises the president to summon means to call to prorogue means end session of parliament okay so this is his power with respect to parliament can recommend dissolution of lok sabha that honorable president please dissolve the lok sabha and we want fresh election like indira gandhi ji did just after emergency she recommended that there was a time time was left but she recommended just uh, we want fresh election announces government policies to the house now other powers and functions prime minister is chairman to these bodies like niti ayog ndc Nash, national integration council interstate council national water resources council please remember these facts because upsc use one statement and put that ki ha prime minister is chairman or ups can also make a statement that uh, in case of national integration council home minister is the uh, chairman you should know that pm is the chairman okay plays a significant role in shaping the foreign policy you have ch- you have seen that if you compare with the f- uh, previous uh, prime minister means manmohan singh ji we have seen that our policy has become more proactive unambiguous strong stance right earlier we saw a sophistication maneuvering for our interest right so it means political means when this position changes it does have impact on the foreign policy as well crisis manager hai leader hai nation ka leader the leader of the nation leader of the party and political head of the services all the executive political head because executive head is president so now relationship with president you know that prime minister uh, is uh, along with council minister for the aid and advice of cons- aid and advice of president article 74 says that 75 we already talked about this that pm advises that honorable president please appoint these members as ministers right communicate all the decisions whether what kind of laws you are planning to make means the the legislations means president can ask prime minister that please tell me on which legislations you are working then prime minister has to communicate this so prime minister is like a bridge between president and council of ministers so pm has to provide the information which president calls for regarding legislations if president demand that i remember one of your council of minister one of the member of your council of minister uh, propose this kind of legislation i want update what you have done what your council has done is it considered yet or not considered in your council of minister pm also advises president about the important appointments like attorney general of india cag we talked about this when we are talking about executive power of president as well right so munro called prime minister the captain of the ship of the state you can remember these quotes or you can say phrases so that they can readily used in your main answer ramsey moe described prime minister the steerman of the steering wheel of the ship of the state so direction is being decided by prime minister now attempt this question in which of the following circumstances prime minister of india cannot participate in voting please remember it is saying cannot participate in voting now she she heads coalition government he she has minority in rajya sabha he she is a member of rajya sabha he she is for, forbidden by the speaker of lok sabha for answering this question first thing you need to know is voting in no confidence motion against his government so no confidence motion is actually brought only in lok sabha only in lok sabha because it was due to the confidence in the lok sabha that this government was formed so if this motion is going in in lok sabha then who can vote only members of lok sabha can vote right so in this statement if he she is a member of rajya sabha now tell me if pm is member of rajya sabha can this person be allowed to vote in a no confidence motion in lok sabha answer is no so that is what this question was asking when which of the following the prime minister of india cannot so it means answer is c clear this is the explanation this pdf will be available in telegram group don't worry now according to the article 74 of the constitution which of the following statements relating to the advice tendered to the ministers by the ministers to the president would be correct it shall not be inquired into any court what does it mean it means advice 
given by minister to the honorable president cannot be inquired in any court a statement is true true is asked but let's look, uh, look at other statements it can be inquired into supreme court it is wrong because this is a privilege protection which is given it can be inquired into all the courts can be wrong it cannot be inquired into high court now see sometimes upsc is going to throw statements like this statement is also correct that if it is not allowed to inquire into any court it means in any court high court is there there you have to choose which statement is more correct means which is explicitly being derived from this article so that is cannot be inquired into any court that is why statement 1 is correct okay a bill initiated by which among the following is a government bill this is a direct question minister a bill initiated by a minister is considered as government bill right uh, a bill initiated by any other member other than minister is considered as private member bill clear this is the explanation i hope now prime minister and the provisions are clear to you if you have any doubt you can shoot me a message on shashank.powerbeing my insta this pdf will be available in shashank tyagi for you telegram group see you in the next video till then keep learning keep growing